Using the heart rate data from an earlier video, we can take the data, which may be in a string, a row, a column, and set up a stem plot with the appropriate stems. Since our data goes from a minimum of 54 to a maximum of 88, we could make four stems. We then go through the data one score at a time and place it in the stem plot. 72 is stem 7 leaf 2, then 65, 74, 58, etc. Eventually, all leaves end up on the correct stem. Finally, within each stem, we arrange the leaves from the least to greatest. Usually we prefer having at least five stems in order to get a better picture of the shape of the distribution. So in this case, with only four stems, the 50s, 60s, 70s, and 80s, we could split the stems. Within each stem, the leaves from 0 to 4 remain in the lower half of stem values, and the leaves from 5 through 9 move to a second split stem. Compare the same data represented on the left by a stem plot, and on the right by a split stem plot. Let's now use this to construct a box plot from the data that has been nicely arranged in the stem plot. There's 22 scores, that's an even number, so we want to separate the upper 11 scores from the lower 11 scores. That means we put a vertical slash between the 11th and 12th scores, so the median must be 68 because the two separating values are 68. Now we need to find the lower quartile. It's basically the median of the lower half of scores. Of 11 scores, it is the sixth score, if you place them from 1 through 11, that's in the middle. It's got five scores below it and five scores above it, so 62 is the lower quartile. In the upper quartile, there's also 11 scores, so it is also the sixth score past the vertical slash that we used to separate the lower and the upper half. So 74 is the upper quartile. We have everything we need. The box plot has its lower whisker down to 54. Finally, the upper whisker goes to 88. We've got our box plot. What happens if instead of 22 scores, there were, say, 23 scores? So to make it simple, let's just arbitrarily add a heartbeat of 89 beats per minute. So now there's 23 scores. So it's the 12th score, if arranged from least to greatest, that's in the middle because that has 11 scores below it, 11 above it. So that second 68 is the 12th score. That's our median. Now we leave it out of the rest of the data, and we now consider the lower 11 scores to be the lower half. And again, 62 is still the sixth score out of those 11. But then we go to the upper 11 scores. Now remember, we added the 89. So no longer is the first 74 going to be our upper quartile. It's going to be the second 74. So now we have this new box plot. Well, what if we took away the 89 and the 88? So now we're only down to 21 scores. So now we're looking for this, the 11th score in the data set because the 11th score has 10 scores below it and 10 scores above it. That would be that first 68. So now we have 10 scores below our median. Okay, well, the lower quartile is basically the median of the lower half of scores, so there being 10 scores now implies that there are two scores in the middle, the fifth and the sixth score. They both have either four below or four scores above. Fifth score is 60, and the sixth score is 62. So now we take the lower quartile as the value that's in between those two, and that would be 61. So 61 would now be the lower quartile. Now with the upper half of scores, we're still looking for the fifth and sixth scores, so that would now be the 72 and the 74. And again, we'd average those, so the upper quartile would now be 73. And this is how the box plot would look.